This summer was an opportunity for the Glazers and Woodward to show me that the idea there's a strategy at United to only finish in the top four and not go any further was nothing more than a conspiracy theory. But this summer has done the exact opposite. We finished last season with Solskjaer third. Off the back of a Bruno Fernandes buzz, optimism was high. Fast forward to now, only a few months later, and optimism is at an all-time low. This summer was the chance to get the reinforcements in to push for that top two. But no Sancho, no defensive midfielder, no centre-back, no progress. And for me now, Solskjaer being sacked is more than... It feels like an inevitability. We've seen it before and we're seeing it again. And this summer was the chance to change that. But I don't think we have and I don't think we will. Before I do start, I want to explain why I haven't done a video for a few days. A few days ago, I got tested positive for coronavirus. Thank you, Ghana. Uh, it's nothing to do with Ghana, but yeah, I've been isolating. I have to isolate for another week or so, and I just didn't feel up for doing a few videos. I wanted to have a little bit of a rest, and I feel a lot better now to talk about the positive video of what I consider the inevitability of Solskjaer being sacked. And you know me, I'm, I try to be positive where possible, but I'm not being a pessimist here. I'm being a realist, because look at what's in front of us. Look at where United finished last season. We were 33 points off Liverpool, who won their first league title in 30 years. That's the most painful thing that can happen to United fans. But instead of this summer being a platform to close that gap, and let's be honest, the opportunity was there. Liverpool just got pumped 7-2 by Villa. City have been dropping points as well. But instead of United using this season as the opportunity to close that gap, we haven't. And instead of the Glazers backing Solskjaer with the reinforcements that we needed this summer, the Glazers have not done that. This summer was just a painful who's who list of crap transfer negotiations from United. And don't tell me Cavani was on the list all summer because he was a free agent and we signed him on deadline day. That sums up the atrocities that we have in terms of the non-football people running the footballing positions. Mistake after mistake. So now, instead of this season being a chance for United to take that step further up, it's the opposite. And United and Solskjaer do not have the tools needed to catch Liverpool and City. And therefore, attention has turned away from United's failures in the transfer window to United's failures on the pitch. And we lost 3-1 to Palace, 6-1 to Spurs. And now the PR machine has begun. And Red Billy did an article covering exactly this over on The People's Person this weekend. And Ed Woodward and Neil, Nash Neil Ashton, sorry, they're working overdrive. Instead of the focus being on Woodward and Judge and the Glazers and their failures, it's all about maybe there's a divided dressing room, talking about Bruno Fernandes' half-time outburst, apparently. Talk about Lukaku and Young and all these stories about a divided dressing room and an upset United fan base and more Pochettino's name's getting cropped up again. It started. The cycle, this, this part of the cycle has started where blame is deflected away from the people and the powers that be at United and the focus is purely on Solskjaer. Now Solskjaer deserves criticism, man. I've said this and I've maintained this from the start. I don't think Solskjaer is going to be the manager that wins us the Premier League title, but he will be the manager that comes in well, not comes in now, but he will be the manager that leaves something behind that another manager, whoever that may be, is able to take over and actually push towards Premier League title. Prior to Solskjaer, we just haven't had the conditions for that success. And that, I feel, is what Solskjaer will definitely do. But at this point, I've seen what's happened before with different managers at United since Fergie retired. And I know what's going to happen now. Because look at our fixtures that are coming up in the next couple of months. I mean, it's ridiculous. Newcastle away, fine. Look, PSG away. Then we've got Chelsea. Then Leipzig. Then Arsenal. Then we've got Istanbul. Everton away. Then you've got PSG again. West Ham away. Leipzig away. City at home. Sheffield United away. Leeds at home. Everton away again. Leicester away. Wolves at home. Mate. By December... I don't think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will be Manchester United manager anymore. I think him being sacked is truly an inevitability at this stage. Because if this summer we had used it as that opportunity to really 
break the pattern and the cycle that we've seen in the, in the most recent years, then it was an opportunity for this season to really see something different from United. To see, well, come on then, let's try and catch up with City and Liverpool. Let's close that gap. Let's get back towards where we should be. But instead now, the focus will be purely on Solskjaer. The focus will be purely on the football on the pitch. And there are on-the-pitch problems. But they, for me, are reflective of the off-the-pitch problems. It's the chicken or the egg. Because I don't think United would have lost 3-1 to Palace. And I don't think United would have lost 6-1 to Spurs. Had Solskjaer been given Jadon Sancho. Had Solskjaer been given a new powerful centre-back. Had Solskjaer been given a new powerful defensive midfielder. And all three of those were in a team before the start of the season. I think United's squad would have been better, the team would have been better, Solskjaer would have been better, everything would have been better. You can't prove whether that's true or not, but that is truly what I feel. And Solskjaer is not a top-level manager in, in comparison, I feel, to the elites. And I'm not sure he ever will be at United. But I don't think that's why Solskjaer is here. You can't go from being 33 points behind Liverpool to expecting to win the title next season. We're on a, we're on a path here. And last year, the tail end of it, we were on the right path. We were on an upward trajectory, and that was inspired by Bruno Fernandes. But United, instead of using that momentum to continue, and to continue pushing forward, it goes against the business model. We finished inside the top four last year, therefore we don't need major investment this year, therefore we'll rein it in, therefore the manager won't have the tools he needs to beat his progress from last season, therefore the manager, he's at fault, he's got to be sacked. We've seen it before, man. We've seen it before. We're seeing it now. And don't for one second think that if someone like Pochettino or, or Nagelsmann comes in, that it won't happen to them as well. It will happen to any manager that comes in to Manchester United whilst the Glazers are the owners, whilst Ed Woodward is our CEO, and whilst Matt Judge is negotiating our transfers. It's going to happen to everybody. It's a pattern. It's clear. It's obvious. It's right there in front of us. And Solskjaer, for me, is going to be the latest fall guy. And it just, I'm bored of it. I'm sick of this cycle at United. It's, it's just not, it's not hard to see what United are doing, but it's impossible to stop because the Glazers own the club and until they get a huge offer, they won't sell the club. But this whole situation has been orchestrated by a difference in what the Glazers want and desire and what United fans want and desire because what we want is for the football club what they want is for their own pocket and that the distance between those two desires of what the owners want and what the fans want finds us in a constant divide a constant situation where somebody has to be the victim and at United that victim is always the manager first whereas it should be the wood, it should be Woodward, it should be Judge, but it, it, it's just not. That's the thing about power. When you've got enough of it, you're not held to account anymore. And that's the situation at United. It's, I suppose, a, kind of a different sort of video. It's more of an opinion piece of mine. Uh, it's something I wanted to do a few days ago. Had everything ready. But I just, hey, I, well, I didn't feel up for it. And I, I just didn't want to talk about United for a few days. It's been quite nice, actually. I'm sure it's been nice for you as well. The whole summer was a complete madness for us to sign four players on deadline day madness especially one that's a free transfer that's been there all summer long that's just despicable but this is my own opinion of where I see this season going now because heading into the summer I was full of optimism that this could be the summer where we we change it and we switch that pattern and we switch the cycle and we start on a new cycle but we haven't Solskjaer hasn't been backed and I thought he took this squad as far as he could last season. But because he hasn't been given now the reinforcements needed to improve on that by comparison to our rivals, which is what you have to... Context is everything. It's not about just spending money or not spending money. It's about spending money correctly on the right players in the right way. United haven't done that. Look, we've over a billion's gone in since Fergie retired. But when you give money to people who are incompetent, they're just going to spunk it all away. It's like giving a junkie a grand and expecting them to come back with food shopping for the week. They just wouldn't do it. 
Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Maybe I'm being too pessimistic, but I don't think I am. I feel Solskjaer now, it's inevitable that he gets sacked. And looking at that fixture list, it may happen before Christmas. And when that happens, we'll get someone like Pochettino in. We'll get someone like Nagelsmann in. And optimism will change again. And the cycle will begin again. And I'm bored of it. I think you're bored of it. I hope United prove me wrong. I hope United and Solskjaer make me do a video reacting to how crap my opinion was in this video. I don't think they will. But you can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But Glazers, you win again. I think Solskjaer is going to get sacked. I think the next manager is going to come in. And I think we're all going to go back to the start of this cycle that we've seen repeating itself since 2013. That I don't think is going to go away until the Glazers sell. And I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon.